have endometriosis. My name is Jennifer. I'm 29 years old and I have stage 1 to 2 endometriosis. Hi, my name is Molly and I have endometriosis. I have endometriosis. I have endometriosis, but I don't just have endometriosis. I have chronic pain that I have to suffer with that affects my lifestyle, that affects my friendship, that affects my family, that affects everyone around me who is involved in my life. I have a really weak immune system that makes me unwell. I get one week in a whole month where I'm pain free symptom free and I can be myself. I haven't worked in nearly a year because of my endometriosis. I've had many jobs but every time I get my job as soon as I have a flare, flare up I have to pick between my flare up or my job and half of the time the flare up is a lot worse than having to push myself to go to work. I've had an operation to remove my endometriosis. Apparently the doctors removed it all but I'm still suffering with chronic, chronic pain. Pain is something that you cannot explain to anyone because each pain, each, each wave of pain feels different to the last and it's the type of pain where you cannot move because you're just bent over in agony. It's the type of pain where you, you physically cannot express how you're feeling apart from scream or cry. It's the type of pain where it feels like your ovaries are being twisted, are being pulled apart. It feels like your insides are being wrecked by some sort of inner demon. It's not just the pain that does you in with endometriosis. It's the fact that all these other symptoms come along with it. I get tired, so tired, so easy. I get these the worst PM, PMS symptoms ever. Like I feel sick to my stomach before my period. I cannot touch the top half of my body. My head, my head just feels like it's gonna blow up and the pain I get is horrendous. My ovulation is like the most funniest thing ever because one month I'll ovulate, the next month I may not ovulate. And the pain I get when I'm ovulated is horrendous. It's, it's up there with the endo pain. The only thing I want to do when I'm in pain is just lay there and cry and scream, sleep if I can, and go in the bath because the bath is the only thing that will numb the pain for that amount of time. I've managed to make this little film with all the power and willpower I have inside of me. One in five women suffer with endometriosis. Everyone is different. Every single person with endometriosis is different. No symptoms will be the same. No pain will be the same. I've been told I have a 20% chance out of 100 to fall pregnant. There is no cure for endometriosis. Even if you have a hysterectomy, I can't say that word. We're still gonna try to battle this ongoing condition for the rest of our lives. It makes you angry when you're trying to express this to someone on how you feel. You're trying to express to someone how your insides feel like they're being wrapped around some sort of really tight barbed wire and being pulled out to you. You just can't explain it. And the reason why I say I'm proud to say that I have endometriosis is because I'm proud to be able to stand up with the rest of them girls and say, we need to find a cure or we need to find something that can minimize our pain. I'm an endometriosis warrior. I have scars to show the battles that I've been through. It ruins your life. It does honestly ruin your life. It doesn't just cause pain, it causes anxiety causes depression. It took me over 11 years to get diagnosed with endometriosis. The doctors ignored me for a good couple of years, told me that my pain is normal, told me that my pain 
is just period pains told me that my symptoms are just everyday normal girl teenager symptoms they then diagnosed me with PCOS and passed everything from my pain down to PCOS not one doctor for about seven years turned around and told me about endometriosis made me aware of it no doctor at all no doctor at all wanting to investigate on why my pain was so painful so at 18 years of age I had to lie to the doctors just to get me into the gynecologist to find out what was going on with the pain that wasn't something I wanted to do but I wanted to get through this pain I wanted to get this pain out of my life when I was 21 years of age they told me that I can go in and have an operation to find out what the pain is and they suspect it's endometriosis my operation lasted about two hours and I come out of my operation first thing I asked was did you find anything and they told me that we cannot tell you but we, what we will tell you is that we did find something and it's been removed and he confirmed that it was endometriosis but he also confirmed that because he has removed it that the pain should now disappear my operation was June 2019 and it is January 2020 and I'm still suffering every single day because of the pain my gyno just said okay we can do another operation but what for? I'm hoping one day that they will find a cure. I'm actually saying that I am petrified for when my period is due every single month because of the pain. So if there is anyone, anyone out there who is going through pain, has not been to the doctors, who's just started their period and are wondering why they're in so much pain, have pain during intercourse that is not normal, have irregular periods, and just has the, all the symptoms, please go to the doctors, please fight your way to see a gynecologist because it is not normal. The pain that you go through with endometriosis is not normal, no matter how much the doctors try to tell you that it is. So I hope this little video, I'm not even sure what to call it, it didn't go to plan because I'm in a lot of pain, but I hope this little video makes it out there and makes you aware of what someone with endometriosis goes through every day and how hard it is to have a silent illness and a hidden illness that on outside I look perfectly fine but inside I am internally bleeding. So if you do suffer with endo then I understand. I understand how it feels. If you think you suffer with endo, please go to the doctors and get checked. Please go and push yourself to the gynecologist. And if you don't suffer with endo, then you're lucky. Just count yourself lucky. But if you don't suffer with endo, then just be aware that your friends who are cancelling their plans because of their period pains ain't just doing it because they don't want to hang out with you or they just doing it because they want to go back to bed. They're doing it because they're in a lot of pain. I hope you've all enjoyed and I hope this has just made anyone aware of how painful it can be. I have endometriosis and I am a warrior. Peace.